So I was on YouTube the other day and then I see this and I'm like, what? Excuse me? Wait, The Weeknd, new song with Madonna? I was honestly so excited to react to this. First of all, The Weeknd is one of my favorite artists out there. I just love his production. I mean, like when I produce, I thrive to be like The Weeknd because he just does incredible, incredible, incredible things. Also, Madonna, I grew up my mom literally listening to every CD possible. She was such a big fan of Madonna. When I was a kid, we were driving. Madonna was on so like just seeing this collaboration is just I'm excited to see and obviously we've got Playboy Carti which I think is gonna bring a little bit more of a vibe to the song if I have to edit things out I do apologize it's probably because of the copyright I want to show you my reaction but also if you do want to see the video full video and support the artists make sure you go to the weekends page and give them like love support them on Spotify Apple Music whatever but yeah this is just me reacting to the song we're also gonna be looking at the meaning the lyrics and the comments. Let's jump right into the video. Let's react. Let's watch. Oh, Madonna. I've seen the devil. I've seen the devil. Down sunset. In every place. In every face. Whoa, that's dark. Oh my god, we're, are we in the UK? Or Ireland? No way. I've seen the devil. Down sunset. In every place. In every face. Um... Are we, are we referring to something very dark here in the music industry that I don't want to even say the word, but a lot of people associate that with devil. So, and obviously the song is called popular. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Tell me, do you see her? She's living a life. She calls her paparazzi, then she acts Oh my God, no way. Wait. Okay. That is mad. Is this a uh, reference to Johnny Depp's and Amber Heard's uh, case? Because she calls paparazzi, then she acts surprised. Or is this referred just to all the celebrities in Hollywood that just do that? Because I have heard that that is a thing. Oh, I know what she needs. Oh, she just the fame. I know what she thinks. Oh, give it like Very true. Oh, Put it in the face, pray yourself to keep on. yeah okay this is definitely not the vibe i was expecting of the song i literally just watched justin timberlake's selfish and it's giving me justin timberlake vibe that r&b style like this is definitely new for the weekend because i thought it's gonna be like you know what we heard is synths very 80s inspired like very produced sounding sound we're here. There's literally pretty much like like three instruments playing. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. I'm I'm vibing with the lyrics a lot. I like that he's talking about this. I like Playboy Cars is coming in. Ooh, here you go. You can't take my soul without a fucking well, that's dark. You can't take my soul without a fight. Who's taking your soul? Are we talking about... I'm not gonna even mention them, but you know who I'm mentioning here. Are we talking about that? Damn. This is dark. I have to say, I love Madonna's verse the most at the moment. Not the lyrically, but just like how she sounds. I feel like it suits her really nicely. And it is kind of her vibe, you know, of the song. Playbook Carti, um... Well, I don't know if he's gonna come in for more. But that was really short, in my opinion, for him. What? That's dark. Bro, that's dark. Put it in her veins. Pray her soul to keep. Oh my god. Look at that gesture. This is so different to what I was expecting. This is uh, mad. <laughs> That is mad. The lyrics are mad. Never be free because she's popular. Never be free because she's popular. 
Okay, it's coming back. Mad. Oh my god, this song is so shady. Turn the webcam on for the followers. She can never be broke because she popular. She in debt 20 mil, but she run it up. Oh my gosh. Playboy Carti, although he is giving the vibe, like, but I'm just really sad that he's basically repeating four lines over and over. And then there's literally two lines, the same lines. I was hoping for more. Oh, hear the things, the things. Everybody's screaming because she's popular. She ain't screaming because she's popular. Who is he singing about? Because it's she, right? He's singing about she. And the references that he's making is just kind of making me feel like he's singing about Amber Heard. She calls paparazzi, then about 20 million debt, you know, that she has to pay up. But then that could be related, like, <laughs> to a lot of celebrities. But I don't know. This, this song is madness. Like, actually, absolutely. This is not what I expected. The only bit that I was expecting is the synth at the end. This is the only part that I was literally expecting from the song. This is actually crazy. This is probably the craziest diss track. And also, like, Madonna being in this. Like, a lot of people always said, like, things about Madonna, like the ones that he's singing about. Is he dissing someone or is he saying... Or is Madonna owning up to like saying like, I've heard all these things you said about me. This is a song I don't care. Like there could be two perspectives. They are the celebrities and I'm pretty sure all three of them had people telling them that they are, they sold their souls for, to the devil, you know? And especially like Madonna starting the lyrics with I seen the devil down the sunset in every place and every face down sunset is obviously hollywood um in every place and every face that means obviously the celebrities and stuff but do you mean are you saying is this song about her or is this song about people that they know in the industry in hollywood this is such a conversation to have and i'm really interested to know what you guys think is pretty crazy the only thing i want to say like personally to me i just I know that some people love R&B, they love this kind of vibe and stuff. I felt like this was a bit maybe too chill in production. Like I just love The Weeknd's production and here it just felt too chill. Like it just didn't, it didn't resonate me with The Weeknd sound. And on this song, Tell, they're saying the song popular is a commentary on the obsession with fame and the extreme measures people will take to achieve it, even if it means sacrificing their own integrity and values. The song's chorus and pre chorus speak of a woman who will do anything to become popular, including selling her soul and killing anyone who gets in her way. The verses describe her as someone who lives a lie and calls paparazzi to gain attention. The lyrics also suggest that the woman is addicted to attention and validation that comes with fame. Praying to the sky and flashing lights each night. The post chorus by Playboy Carti in the weekend is about being rich and famous as they brag about having money on top of them. Are they bragging? Well, to be fair, like. Playboy Carti is kind of saying, like, he's got the money, right? Additionally, the song suggests that the woman's obsession with fame has made her a slave to it, as she can never be free from its grasp. Overall, the song is a commentary on the dark side of the pursuit of fame and celebrity culture. Looking at the comments, Madonna and Carti has to be the wildest collab of all time! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm so happy we finally have music for this masterpiece. The Weeknd and Madonna sing in perfect harmony. The fact that Madonna is 65 with such a voice is actually insane. Yeah, it's insane because it sounds so soft like it is crazy i agree to that but yeah guys let me know in the comments what you think about the song how did you react to it how did you feel about it thank you for being here if you have a spare second to subscribe that would mean absolutely the world i would be really really grateful thank you so much guys Mwah. have a good day bye bye